Happy New Year everyone! How are you? I hope you had a great holiday season. I thought to start the year uh, being a little bit more active and hopefully uh, continue on beyond the first couple of months of um, determination. Uh, I already have got things that I do wear and I don't really want to buy anything right now. However, sometimes I find that it's, it helps when you have something nice to wear prior to working out and so I have come up with this a list of items that are eco-friendly, ethically made and are sure to make your workout a little bit more fun. Let's go! is a Finnish company which specializes not only in active wear but also they make their own yarn and textiles made out of recycled materials. You could see the whole process on their website from uh, beginning to finish and uh, they trade their own products on different websites with chosen partners. I have put a link for both, website, both their website for production uh, of textiles and yarn and also uh, where you could buy the actual active wear. They've got a few different types of hoodies that look pretty good and really warm and made from recycled materials both for men and women. You could read all about their production process on their website and also they've got lots of videos of how they produce their things so there's certainly transparency in there. Another company which I think is worth a mention is Third Rock. They've got a few different initiatives on their website. They do recycling as well. They use uh, leftover materials, uh, pre-loved fabrics um, and pre-loved surplus materials generally. They uh, recycle fashion waste but also they recycle Italian carpets which is quite cool because a lot of the time when we think of waste when it comes to textiles we don't think of household goods um, such as carpets and upholstery so it's brilliant that someone's actually doing something about that if you need motivation when it comes to working out um, like I do then um, I think uh, adding a dash of color to the active wear that you have chosen can really uh, help with this that's why I thought this company is quite good specifically for leggings and sports bras uh, because they put really cool prints all the printing is done in Wales according to their website and the production is done mainly in Europe with Portugal, Lithuania and Turkey uh, and also in Israel. They uh, promote sustainability and ethical practices. Uh, they have been part of the Who Made My Clothes campaign which um, has, was started a few years back by Fashion Revolution and so uh, they promote uh, fair pay for their staff and the people within their production chain. So a uh, really great company. Another thing that they do, which I think is really great, is that they promote awareness of um, the issue of deforestation and the problem that orangutans in the wild face. They've got their Earth Collection campaign. Some of the profits are donated to the Orangutan Foundation. So a great company altogether, Third Rock. Put the link in the bio below. Next up, trainers. Um, we all need good footwear when it comes to uh, working out. There's loads out there, uh, which I'm sure more specialist um, channels dedicated to active wear would uh, promote. I'm promoting sustainability here and also new technologies because um, I think that's the future. And for that, I have found this incredible new type of trainer by a company called Nat2, coming straight from Germany. And the the special thing about this type of trainer is that it's up to 50% made out of coffee grounds that have been used. There are already fabrics that are made using this, 
but this is the first time when I actually see a footwear which is made using a, this kind of um, resource that we already have used so it's really great just so I don't miss something I'll read the rest of what the shoe is made out of the soles are made from uh, antibacterial cork I should mention that coffee has got anti-odor and antibacterial properties so really great for a trainer water-based glue has been used for the production of this shoe which is the more eco-friendly way to go and um, also the, some of the shoe is made out of recycled PET bottles. These trainers are made in Italy in a, in a family run facility which is brilliant and of course really high tech uh, equipment is used uh, during the production. It's so interesting I thought really uh, it's great to draw attention to it and hopefully it will grow in the future and they'll make more materials and products out of a really cool waste materials that we've already used. Socks are a difficult one sometimes because you don't always know whether they're eti ethically made. Uh, what I can say though is that bamboo and hemp socks are by far more sustainable and eco-friendly than cotton socks are and also wool socks. I had some suggestions in my um, ethical gifts on a budget. Um, have a look. I'll put that video up here somewhere. There's a company which I really um, rave about, uh, they're called Thought um, and the website um, offers lots of different uh, types of clothing for men and women and children. However, uh, because we're focusing on sports socks, um, I thought uh, to tell you that they do actually have um, ankle length socks. The, these socks are made uh, out of uh, bamboo and organic cotton blend. They're um, very soft. They're on my list of things to buy in the new year actually. It's just that I have got quite a lot of socks at the moment and I just think there's no point buying more if you already have socks. But if you're looking to buy new socks, uh, £5.95 for a pair of really lovely ethical socks as well. The, the website has got a certificate uh, for uh, sustainability and ethical practices. Uh, they're a founding member of the Common Objective, uh, which you can read about on the website, which I'm going to put below and the link again. Altogether, a really great company for your active wear needs. If you are someone who uh, likes to uh, do yoga, you probably already have a yoga mat. If you're just starting, uh, it's something that I have thought about doing myself, taking up yoga in the new year, uh, then um, you might notice that there's a lot, there are a lot of yoga mats out there that have got PVC or other materials that are not particularly eco-friendly. So um, what I found um, interesting is uh, the website ecoyoga.co.uk. They do different types of yoga mats. I will just mention two types because I thought they were pretty good. One is the jute mat, which is uh, of course made out of jute um, and um, it's I believe four millimeter in thickness and it comes in various colors although you could choose a natural one and it's great for many reasons it's biodegradable is vegan and eco-friendly especially if you're doing veganure that might be a good way to start the month um, also made in the UK and machine washable which is really good because um, uh, the normal mats are around £45, which is not too bad provided I have seen mats when I was doing this research for about £100 that are not really as sustainable and eco-friendly as that. I think £45 probably mid-range, but if you want to spend a bit less and still be eco-friendly, this website has got a section for factory seconds, which is brilliant because um, First, they're taking the time and care to ensure that if you're pay, paying £45 for a mat, that it's really, um, you know, top notch. But then, the the ones that they offer as factory seconds would also be really great, and they'll be about half the price or less. So um, I think it's a really good way to not send materials to landfill, biodegradable or not. 
and um, it's something that gives you a choice depending on your budget and your needs and again the website link is below in the description of this video i hope you've enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe if you have done i always think that if you already have gear for workouts um, active wear of any sort that you already I love wearing there's no point buying more and more but if you are looking for things to buy because you don't have anything and it's a fresh start for you this year i hope this video uh, will help until next time have a lovely week ahead and see you next thursday